Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to stop in and visit and check out my video. And we're doing a review here on a on the Corvette C8R. Um, of course, this is a uh, the 2021 C8R. It's the GTE Pro that ran in Le Mans in 2021. So, of course, they got two um, two different kinds. They have the yellow one, uh, I think with the gray stripes or something, and they got this gray one with the yellow stripes. So I decided to get the gray or silver, however you want to call it. And, of course, it's made by Top Speed, and it's a 118. And how you see it is how it came. Um, now, I just got it sitting on this platform. Um, just a regular little platform, just something to sit it on so it's easier to move around. So i got to be careful with it because it's not attached. Um, it just comes in a styrofoam type, styrofoam type platform. Um, so, you know, something you can't really display it on anyway. So you're going to have to take it out of there. Um, you know, it came, it's well protected in there. So that's the good thing about that. But the bad thing is you can't really display it like that. So, I mean, it's got goods and bads. Um, Let's take a look at it. Let's take a start looking at the front. And as you can see, you got the really nice lights on it. Um, the paint, the silver paint is some of the best I've seen. Super, super glossy and just no orange peel. Very Got a lot of metallic in it uh, to a high gloss. Very uniform type gloss. So. The gray is really, really good. Um, now, also, you can see that right by the, the uh, Corvette emblem there on the front, there's a little hole right there. Well, there's some pe some pedo tubes that are supposed to be sticking out of there, but they fell off. So I'm going to have to try to glue them back on. Um, they just fell off pretty much. So obviously they weren't in there too good or glued in so i have to be really careful doing that because they're very little so you know but you can see that's where it goes is that little hole right there they go in that um but you can see the grill um got the uh arrow and the uh, tow hook there on the front oh and just a side note i was lucky to find that thing too man it's so little you couldn't so I was looking all over for that thing. It just pretty much fell off. So um, luckily I found it. So I can I can glue it back on. I have to be super careful with it. Because otherwise you'll have glue dripping everywhere. So I'm going to have to be super, super careful with that. But, and of course you got nice, de nice detail with the headlights. You know, headlights look pretty good. And so do the driving lights down there at the bottom. They look pretty nice, I think. I think they look good. Of course, like I said, I just got to be really careful with it because it's just sitting on the stand. And, of course, it's got the Michelin tires. Now, the one thing I don't like is the brakes. The brakes look Mickey Mouse. I, I mean, they don't look good at all. Um, look like something out of a toy. The rotors don't look that good. Calipers are just pretty much plain calipers. Um, I'm sure they have something on them, whether it's Brembo or AP or whatever they use. I don't know what uh, Corvette uses. No, it's not Brembo. Um, I'm pretty sure it's AP. I'm pretty sure it's AP. But anyway, they're not on there. So um, that's a little disappointing. And that's front and rear. They both look kind of, again, they look, in my opinion, they look very plain Jane and very uh, not detailed at all but again the the gray paint looks really good everywhere but as good as that paint looks the yellow doesn't <laughs> the yellow um that's the stripe is you can i don't know if this video is showing it through but it's kind of it, you can kind of see through it you can kind of see the gray through the yellow like it's not enough yellow or, or the sticker is, or I don't know if it's a sticker or paint or what, but you can kind of see the gray bleeding through it. So that, that doesn't look that good. So a little disappointed in that as far, and it's a shame because the windows, 
Uh, the windows are super clear, super good looking windows. Um, like I said, the paint, just look at the, it's so even. I mean, the, the paint is literally, the gray part is really, really good. Some of the best I've seen. The tail lights are just okay. They don't look like they're nothing great. Um, again, I don't remember if they're clear or red on the real car. So that I would, I'm not, I'm not positive, so I can't say if it's a, I'm not going to say good or bad, but they just look kind of cheesy in, in my opinion. Got the rain light on the back. Real nice, um, huge diffuser on the back. It's just so awesome looking. And of course, you can see the big, huge side sills on the side. We'll see if I can get a little bit better close up. Maybe it'll, I don't know if it'll focus. But you can see the carbon fiber and the exhaust, the Corvette racing. But again, I mean, it just, again, you know, the GTE cars are so awesome. I'm really sad to see that class kind of die out because it's, to me, it's the ultimate GT car. Um, but, you know, you're talking, you know, factory cars, you're talking million dollar cars. Um, so, I mean, I know they're so expensive and things like that. And that's not a, an exaggeration because I know a GT3 car costs around six or 700,000. So I know these, the GTE cars are even more than that. So I know they're right around a million. So, um, pretty crazy stuff. Look at the other side. Of course, you can see the fuel filler there. Or you got all the the uh, quick disconnect type stuff for the you know the um, attachments for the fenders attached and things like that. You know all the stickers that looks good where it says uh, Sirius XM and C8R. All that looks really good. I think the wing looks nice. I mean it's it's not carbon fiber so it's it's just black so that's okay i guess i mean that's that's if that's the way it was that's okay um again insides look pretty good i mean not bad uh, it's kind of hard to you can see some of the insides not really that good though again it's really hard to get this thing to focus when you get the glare, they're not as good as a spark inside. I, I'm gonna say it's decent, but again, it's it's not as not as good as a spark. Um, I'm not sure if it's even as good as an auto art inside as far as detail. It's decent though. It's it's you know a lot better than a Mini Champs. I mean, a Mini Champs really has no very little detail on the inside. This one does have good has decent detail. You can see the. Uh, Let's see if I can show the steering wheel. Steering wheel has at least got some kind of. Let me see. Let me go in from the other side here. Yeah, so you can see the steering wheel. See, it's got stuff on the steering wheel and on the dash. So again, um, it has some detail in there. Some detail. So it's got a side net, like your arm net there on the side. So it's got some. So I'm not like I said. I, I, it's just not as good as maybe a um, a spark. But again, this is a top speed, and I have you know I have multiple top speed models, and you know they're good. I, I really they've they got some good ones, um, but I have noticed just a little bit of quality control and just a few things. So again, I mean they're it just sometimes it's a little bit of a hit and miss. And I actually have another one, another top speed on order that I haven't gotten yet. So I've had on order for a while. But I mean, for the most part, I think it's really nice. Um, but you know, they're again, they're just like everything, they're not, it's not really a cheap model. I mean, not, it was, uh, the price of it was $189. And, um, and then, of course, that's not shipping or anything. That's just the price of the model. And, uh, I, I mean, my, my rating is a, a seven and a half out of 10. Um, 
and I'm trying to be nice about it. I mean, it's another thing I did not mention. It's better than it was, but it basically when I first got it, it was really bad about being a tripod. You can see, see how it, it's actually better than it was. You see how it's, it's, it teeter totters like on three wheels. So that's a big negative for me. And it actually was worse than that. Um, so, and I, I don't know if that's the way it was because it was attached. It, it tweaked it or something but it just you can't really it's not barely noticeable now but i still that's uh, that's a real negative to me it's got to sit right i mean it sits right to the fenders i mean all that it sits right but um it doesn't you know when it doesn't sit right as far as flat that's kind of a big big downer <laughs> so but it's my first c8r of course that's the only um so is it Sprint? I'm not really sure. Don't I'm not positive on that. It's either Sprint or in top speed, but I think they're the only two that I know that make it. I don't know of anybody else that makes it right now. So, um, but again, I you know, I, it, it's a decent model, but for the price, I don't know. That's you know, if you're a real Corvette fan, yeah, you definitely want to have one. But again, you know, I, one thing I've noticed with top speed, and this is just my opinion, you know, you can you really can get a good one or a or it's just a, it's kind of a, you know, flip the coin type of thing. I mean, you can get a really one that's really nice, and then you can get other ones that maybe have a little this or that that's not right on it. So, um, really, a little, little disappointing, but you know, it's still a decent model. Um, and um, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to keep it. I'm not going to get rid of it. So, uh, but again, you know, not the best that I was hoping for anyway. Um, so again, and also correction on the last review I did with the Porsche, um, it was 349. I think I said 249, which I will correct that in the description, um, and I will also knock a little bit off of the rating on that also because that's definitely more money. And but yeah, that, I, I think I said 249 in the video, and it's actually 349 for that GT3R, the last one I just did about a few weeks ago. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little review. And you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And again, you know, I got a few more models coming. So you probably can see these. And I am also want to get a few of them out together that I haven't done in a while. And kind of compare them. Uh, some of the different um, generations of them and things like that. And, and uh, ones that I haven't, you know, done reviews like a long time ago. So, you know, look, hopefully you enjoy them. And, and your comments and feedback on that would be great. Um, I would really appreciate it. And uh, I sure hope, uh, like I said, you give me a like and subscribe. And I hope you come back and visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.